thank you. And as Victor mentions, it's reflections actually. It's not. Uh, it's also means thoughts. Yeah, it's not really is it reflections. Yeah. So I will um, speak about mm, the thing which uh, the most well known. Yeah. Yeah. yeah double. Yeah. So that left and right side of everything. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I will speak about most well known contribution of Victor Katz to mathematics, Katz Moody algebras. And uh, the Katz Moody algebras, uh, I, have to, I will divide my desk on two parts. So it will be orthogonal part. And another will be symplectic part. Uh, so um, uh, you start with generalized Cartan matrix. So it's a matrix Aij from Ij from 1 to some number r, <coughs> which are integers, uh, diagonal elements are equal to 2, and uh, of diagonal elements will be non positive, and I assume that it's symmetrizable. So uh, it means that there exist uh, some, some numbers di which are strictly positive. In fact, one can choose them it to be integers such that di aij is equal to dj aji. So up to this factor, it's symmetric uh, matrix. Mm. And then we have uh, a remarkable object associated to the Cartan matrix, uh, the katz moody algebra. Uh, there are several versions. I will speak about uh, kind of the minimal one. It, it will have direct sum decomposition in the uh, uh, all kind of low triangle, diagonal, and upper triangle parts with generators EI, HI, FI, and uh, relations which now uh, I think most mathematicians know that EI, FJ is delta ij hi, hi ei is aj ej, or maybe I mix j i okay, hi fj, as way as way around okay, j i fj is equal to minus aj i fj, and then uh, you also need several relations, I suppose yeah, so it's something like ah hi commute. And then add e i to power one minus a j i j j i a j okay you know better and the sim similar for for f yeah so it's quite m m miracles list of relations and what is nice about these relations um, this, so this Lie algebra consists of three parts. N consists of F and commutators of Fs. H consists of H, and N plus consists of commutators of E. And algebra is uh, ZR graded. And, uh, and uh, there are roots in ZR which will be uh, uh, correspond to non-trivial graded components. And the set of roots Uh, has the following uh, three remarkable property. First property is set of rules contains all uh, mm, uh, what's called um, plus minus a alpha a alpha uh, alpha i the alpha i are mm, base elements in uh, in coordinate space, uh, which will be uh, uh, graded comp uh, 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 gradings of elements e i and uh, alpha is gradient of elements i and f minus alpha is gradient of elements of minus e alpha e i so it can the set of roots and also contains zero now so it contains a kind of positive octant suppose i am three, ver three variables uh, 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 vectors and positive octant second the set of all roots 
it's kind of uh, low bound to the set of roots. The upper bound to the set of roots is contained, maybe I can put zero uh, in set of roots, it's contained in a union of uh, um, two chambers, C plus union C minus. <coughs> C plus is a uh, uh, product. C minus is. Uh, so it contains uh, in the union of positive and negative actant. And second, and third uh, property, all uh, the set of roots is invariant under the, under the value group. And what is the value group? Uh, this is a group generated by uh, reflections. Uh, Namely, uh, reflections and the reflections, uh, reflection i of alpha j is uh, of alpha i is minus alpha i. A reflection i of alpha j is alpha j minus uh, j times alpha i. In fact, I can write here for j, uh, for j non equal to i, i, but for j equal to i, it's the same because uh, diagonal elements are two. Yeah, and you see that it's uh, it's really surprising because um, mm, mm, uh, why such set exist? Uh, the minimal sets which you can take a priori, if, if uh, satisfying this property, you take the set of all uh, base vectors with plus minus coefficient. And then we start to re uh, make reflection with respect to this group. And the question, why all the elements lie all, always in positive or negative actant? It's kind of a miracle. Uh, the only proof which I know is by existence of cuts moody algebras. Maybe one can make elementary proof, but it will be very complicated. Uh, uh, one should kind of uh, treat mm. uh, special small cases and large cases and completely, completely different technique. Yeah, so it's. Uh, uh, I found it's a very remarkable geometric corollary of, of the existence <coughs> of Katsmudi algebras. And it works, uh, one should use real numbers, signs, or integer numbers, signs, and all that. Otherwise, it's just uh, wrong. Yeah, I want to say that it belongs, this reflection belongs to AJ plus. Uh, I just want to say that this reflection belongs to this shifted guy with positive coefficients. And now I'll just draw some basic examples. Uh, when r is equal to 2, you can start with uh, 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 the simplest interesting Cartan matrix. Uh, mm. Uh, uh, for A3, and you get six roots. You see the sits in positive and negative actant. Then you can make a slightly more complicated matrix. <coughs> then you get a, a what's called a fine algebra. The set of all roots, it's, three uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, integer vectors lying on three parallel lines. And again, it uh, consists of positive and negative part. And then one can make even more complicated thing, uh, which is uh, really hyperbolic Lie algebra. And hyperbolic Lie algebras are we're not really studied <coughs> much. But um, the picture is uh, like this. You get a vector, let's say, 1, 0. Then get vector uh, th uh, three one, then somewhere else eight three, and so on. And similarly here. Yeah. So, uh, so you get mm. uh, 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 vectors which are obtained by re reflection of uh, simple roots of base vectors, uh, and then in between you get an angle sector. The slope 
square root of 3 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. There are two, uh, two angle sectors. And uh, everywhere inside there are what's called imaginary roots. Uh, uh, when the quadratic form uh, given by this matrix is uh, negative, uh, non-positive, non and, uh, and real roots which are coming from a mm, simple thing. OK, so I get uh, this kind of uh, part, uh, which is mysterious part of hyperbolic uh, Lie algebra. And uh, finally, one can try to draw some three-dimensional example. For example, uh, one takes symmetric matrix uh, like this. Uh, the set of roots will be a collection of vectors in three-dimensional space. And uh, you can proje projectivize it. You take positive roots, uh, and they will you get a subset of triangle. And subset of triangle, it's pretty complicated. I've seen uh, somebody made a picture of the subset. It's not convex. It's, uh, it's really some complicated fractal uh, monster uh, uh, in projectivization in, in RP2. Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, generally the picture of this uh, story. And now, how one can reformulate this property 1, 2, 3 uh, geometrically? Uh, suppose one gets uh, uh, some uh, vector space with non degenerate, for simplicity, uh, uh, symmetric form. Uh, where <coughs> n is uh, some number maybe larger than a uh, rank of our algebra, get collection of vectors. <coughs> I get linearly independent vectors. Uh, such that scalar product between alpha i and alpha j will be exactly this symmetric matrix which I assume you, you just extend uh, to some larger space to make it non-degenerate. And this is then the property 1, 2, 3 equivalent to the following. So there exists a subset, which are called wall or walls, sitting in Rn, with the following, two prop with the following three properties. Uh, the analog of property one, or, or one prime, yeah, actually, what will be the subset? It will be union of a, uh, <coughs> hyperplanes orthogonal to all roots. I take just uh, uh, replace vectors by hyperplanes. All, all roots. All, all, all roots. Uh, so the first property uh, is that the set of walls contains union of coordinate hyperplanes, or, or, or it contains union of alpha i. Uh, second property says that the set of complement of the walls uh, contains a strict positive octants. So uh, maybe called C, C tilde plus by union C tilde minus. C tilde plus is a vector set of all vectors such that V of alpha i is strictly positive. All i and C minus is complement. So it contains uh, two simplicial, open simplicial cones. And third property is the same as that the set of walls is invariant under action of the white group of these reflections. OK. Now go to symplectic version. Mm. Yeah, the symplectic part of the story is related to cluster algebras and uh, uh, from Zelvinsky. So I start with, uh, again, matrix with integer coefficients. But now diagonal elements are 0. 
and uh, uh, its metric is q symmetrizable, no conditional signs. Okay, there exists di. Uh, um, we don't know <coughs> what is analog of cuts moody algebra, uh, but uh, the geometric result will be very similar. Now, uh, first of all, uh, there's no value group, value group in this case. Uh, mm, uh, so to formulate what, what go, uh, goes on, I really should go to uh, kind of analog of the geometric reformulation. And uh, analog of geometric reformulation is the following. Uh, so I first have to define some notion of uh, mm, mutation. Suppose I have a vector space now will be even dimensional with a uh, skew symmetric with non-degenerate skew symmetric form. Okay. Mm. And I have a collection of uh, linearly independent vectors. And this vector space uh, mm. uh, the relation with this uh, numbers a i j d j is of course that <coughs> the scalar product is now uh, d i times a i j and uh, mm. now I want to define a notion of uh, mm, mutation. Mutation, it will be operation which make from one collection a new collection of vectors. Where alpha i prime is minus alpha i, like in a, a symmetric case, uh, and alpha j prime is alpha j uh, plus alpha i alpha j divided by d i times alpha i. And here put plus. Uh, what does it mean plus? It's or, uh, x plus is the maximum of x and 0 for real number x. Uh, it's essentially the same formula. One can replace this a i j by the same ratio. Yeah, it's the same formula and also it belongs to alpha j plus some positive integer shift of alpha i because of our, our agreement. Mm. Mm. So that's uh, how geometrically uh, this transformation looks like. So we consider a skew orthogonal hyperplane to alpha i. And, uh, and uh, we get vector alpha i belongs to this uh, hyperplane because it's symplectic form. And then there are some vectors in our collection which are uh, on one side of hyperplane uh, and uh, with depending on sign of scalar product with <coughs> alpha and another on the, on the opposite side. And the new collection is the following. We make minus alpha i. We keep the same vectors uh, on one side. And on the other side, we, we uh, tilt them in direction of a previous uh, original vector alpha i. That's uh, analog of this uh, reflection. Mm. Yeah, so one can formulate the thing so it will be completely indistinguishable. And now, now I just want to say, sorry, I don't make it completely symmetric, I failed. Uh, one now can make uh, so this, the theorem which I want to announce is the following. 
uh, it will be analog of this property. Uh, there exists a subset, in fact, it will be a very canonical subset walls sitting in R to N with the following property. So there will be no analog of this 1 to 3, but I will formulate pure geometric uh, uh, property. There will be a certain, certain subset which uh, <coughs> it's contain, contains union of skewer orthogonal uh, hyperplanes. Uh, uh, the complement to the wall uh, contains again this C plus tilde plus C minus tilde, exactly the same as I denote before. It uh, contains two, uh, uh, two open cones. And instead of invariance under the uh, mm, wire group, it will be a different uh, formula. Actually, this transformation, which I didn't know uh, this before, I call the TI, this uh, uh, so alpha J prime. It's piecewise linear transformation of, of symplectic vector space. And the formula, instead of invariance on the, uh, on, under the wire, gr uh, wire group, will be replaced by the following. Uh, that uh, if we apply, if we make a mutation with our collection, it will be the same as this transformation applying to the wall of original collection. So if you make mutation, you make the same picture, but now not after linear transformation, after piecewise linear transformation. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, the theorem, and uh, one can make completely parallel list of examples with, uh, with this uh, 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 usual algebra. So again, with rank two, we get, we can make uh, uh, this matrix, and uh, In the set of now we have five walls which are five rays, not six rays, but five rays. Similarly, for zero, two minus two, zero, one get almost the same picture as in Moody algebra, Moody L algebras. You can see the rays, but passing through kind of uh, two negative base vector and positive part of of the um, uh, uh, ro uh, <coughs> roots in, uh, in Katsumudi algebra. And, uh, and similarly for 0, 3, minus 3, one get essentially the same picture, but again, one, one uh, pick two, two negative base vectors and the same picture with the same slope in, in the positive actant. And also there is some uh, three-dimensional version. Uh, uh, Foka Goncharov, for example, calculated example for this uh, picture for uh, <coughs> this case and get extremely complicated decomposition uh, in small triangles after projectivization or projective plane. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, Mm, th uh, th that's a surprisingly similar story uh, with all uh, kind of uh, fractality, ergodicity, looking more or the same way. Uh, the, uh, I have the only one proof for this uh, result. It follows on mm, some wall crossing formulas and some uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, some decomposition of elements in symplectomorphism group. So it, it has nothing to do with katz moody algebra. Yeah, so I, I really have no idea how to make uh, joint uh, uh, simultaneous proof. Mm. There is some uh, special case when uh, matrices are symmetric uh, or skew-symmetric. <coughs> and then there is some category theory, Donaldson and Thompson variants, one can see some analogy and relations and put on the same footing. But in general cases, they are completely different uh, thinking. They're still it's 
quite a big mystery, so one should maybe we should find some algebraic structure behind. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh. Are there questions? I have a short comment. Please, uh, in fact, uh, Finberg uh, has a uh, geometric proof even in more general situation, and this, this is it's not necessarily crystallographic, so yeah. you cannot use cosmic algebra. Okay. But here, here from. Yeah. Uh, actually, so I have another question. Uh, does uh, while group does it exist when matrix is not skew symmetrizable? It's not symmetrizable. It's not symmetrizable. Yeah. Ah, ah, so this, so maybe. It's but it should be crystallographic. Yeah. So more questions? Yeah. Cluster, cluster al algebras have connection with the uh, integrable system TQ yes. relation, which then have a relation with Katsumi algebra. So does it? Yeah, but. No, but here consider some kind of very wild thing, which is uh, not uh, like a hyperbolic <coughs> general <coughs> hyperbolic Katsumudial algebra are not related with anything. There are some uh, having automorphic properties, but the most of them are completely wild objects. Here, so it's the same thing here. So no, I don't. Uh, no, of course there is some A D A B C D whatever uh, case, but I mean more general. Thank you very much. Yeah.